of you ever wanting to make someone on a photo, say a friend or family, have a big head? Ever? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you could actually do that using Adobe Photoshop. Now, if you haven't got Adobe Photoshop, I'm pretty sure you could probably do it in GIMP or Paint.net, but I'm using Photoshop CS5. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and launch it, and I will zoom in in a minute. Um, just right, winding up. And if my computer's fast enough, I'll do a screencast, but I'll wait until I get my other computer. So. We can't have everything. Right, if I zoom in, hopefully my computer's going to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go to the camera and see how it looks like. In fact, I'm going to just zoom in on the laptop. I know I should have really planned this beforehand, but oh well. And now that I've um, Move the camera in. We can get cracking now. Just zoom in. Right, first thing I really want to do is open up your picture. So I'm just going to go to File, Open. Find it, put it on my desktop just so it's quick and easy to find for this tutorial. There it is, just a quick photo I took, it's landscape, just a self timer, just put it on, we've got red eyes. Right now, the next thing you need to do is come over to your layers palette and zoom in one more. Right, you see the default name of background, and then you should see a little padlock here, that should be locked, and then you want to click on, just double click it. You should see a default layer name of layer 0, colour of none, mode normal, opacity 100, just keep all the defaults as you can see there. And just click on OK. Right now, it has now unlocked the layer so we can begin editing. And let me just zoom out a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. And then you want to go up to um, your toolbox here in CS3 and CS4, little bit, it'll be two columns. CS5 it's all one and you want to um, go down to your marquee tool hold it hold your mouse down on it and select the rectangular one and now you want to just select as neat as you can around the head without getting too much of the background and I'll, tell, I'll show you why in a minute it's roughly Alright, a little bit of hair is chopped off. There. Now, with that selected, you can just about see some lines there. With it selected, you want to push Control T. And now you should see boxes come up in the corners. And then you just want to hold down Shift and drag out by one of the corners, any corner, to make it bigger. As you can see, it's now making my head bigger. I'm going to do it to about there and push enter with the shift key still held down there and now you can let go of the shift key and now you want to move it by with it still selected but not in free transform you want to go to the move tool and hopefully it should move that bit yeah it does and you just want to move it on to just covering up, see here that white space that's where the head was just do it so it's covering up that and try and match up the neck as best as you can No, 
I've matched up by my t-shirt, I'll just zoom out and see how that looks. That looks really good. Now quickly before I run out of time, just push Control D so it unselects it and then if you want, this is an optional thing, just go down to underneath the paint bucket or gradient tool, hold that down on that tool and it should be, the default thing should be a little raindrop or something like that, you just want to select the smudge tool and if you want you can just zoom in. You can just smudge the neck in there just so it's not as noticeable. And just zoom out. And just smudge it in there and then the complete thing is that and as you can see I've now got a big head so if you'd like that tutorial and for more check out um, my website that I'm currently redeveloping which is um, thomas.tc.camille.com and there'll also be a little watermark um, also, my downloads website, all of these are still currently under construction, so there's nothing on them. Um, Downloads.tc.comule.com, live.tc.comule.com, uh, members.tc.comule.com, uh, what other ones have I got? Um, oh yeah, md5antivirus.tc.comule.com, um, Uh, those are the ones I can think of for now, but check those out, but there's nothing on at the moment, but the, the thomas.cc.comule.com at the moment has just got a home page and about page. So, um, I will see you later.